big dreamers coming at you live from the Santa Monica Wednesday Farmers Market, the best place on earth. <laughs> I am here. Hello, hello. Hey. What was your name? Brad. Thank you, Brad. Brad, the incredible citrus sampler we have and incredible citrus farmer. So I'm just curious, Brad, what varieties are you sampling here? We have a variety of citrus today. We have our uh, Valencia orange, just came into season. Uh, we have our star ruby grapefruit. It's a sweet tart grapefruit. We have our white Oro Blanco grapefruit. It's gonna be low on the acid side, so more on the sweet side. So it's gonna be a sweet white grapefruit. We have our Tangelo. So it's half, tan, half tangerine, half uh, palmello grapefruit. And then we have our super sweet golden nugget tangerine. Um, yeah, we also have avocados and uh, we'll start doing juice here next week. Wow, dope. Yeah. So cool. And I was asking like how, what practices Brad uses like to farm. And I was curious what you do instead of pesticides and stuff. Yeah, instead of pesticide we use seaweed extract and uh, they just spray that directly on the tree. And then instead of uh, pesticides, we use ladybugs and praying mantis. That's so cool. Yeah. So, so awesome. So come, what was this farm called? Bernard Ranches. Bernard Ranches, come support. Oranges, like, can you believe how many varieties of citrus there are? Oranges are so high in vitamin C, and honestly, like, just holding an orange, this is straight up energy from the sun, like, so vibrant and alive. Like, I don't think food gets more high vibe than, than this. <laughs> So I honestly feel like so happy just biting into a fresh orange and it's really really cool trying all these different varieties of the farmer's market. I hope you come give them a try. Let's see who else we can interview. Pause. Fresh apricot sample. Yum. Mm. There is so much goodness. Like, I just passed by so much amazingness. Like, it's gonna be hard for me to document everything. <laughs> Have you ever had fresh mulberries? Like, mulberries are in season right now and they are so good. Okay, look at this. Look at this magic. Oh fuck, I dropped one on the ground. And then here's the white mulberries, which you'll probably see more dried. Focus, maybe. Really, really, really amazing. And this one that fell on the ground. Okay, my microbiology professor literally, when, thing, when food would fall on the ground, he would literally pick it up and eat it because he's like, there's nothing on the ground that's gonna harm you. This is on the ground and um, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah. So good. Mm. <laughs> and I'm not stealing, they were giving out free samples, I swear. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Come to Wednesday Farmer's Market. The Wednesday Market is way bigger than the Saturday one, which is kind of weird, but it's like so much bigger. So much bigger. So fun. All right, everybody, one more All right, I'm with Oliver. He's giving out awesome samples of fresh blackberries. And I was just wanting to know like what you grow and like what other things are in season right now. So this is the beginning okay. of our summer. Um, we typically start off with an aprium, which is an apricot plum cross. Mm -hmm. um, and then we start falling into the peaches and nectarines and plums and pluots and all this amazing stuff along with these beautiful blackberries. So yummy, look how big those are. <laughs> yeah, please try one, they're amazing. So fun, wow. Yeah. So and this is the time of the year where you're gonna get a lot more variety of fruit, vegetables, all kinds of good stuff just because it's summertime and yeah, we enjoy a little bit really more summer flourishing. stuff. So right. this is definitely a great time to be out and enjoying the fruit and stuff like that. A lot of good stuff out. Everything seems to be right on track with the seasons and stuff. So Yeah, I love like the stone fruits like peaches and berries and stuff like this. Like not gonna get it any other time of year no, like this, right? Exactly, delicious. Definitely. So I'm really excited. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, this is the best blackberry I've ever had. Oh my god. 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 O
like peaches, nectarines, yellow peaches, look at all those samples down there. Yes. And this is organic farms. This guy that just gave me a sample. Look at it all. Oh my god. Alright, yes, I'm gonna make it down to the samples. Let's go. Yo, I just wanted to ask you again, so I know you're with Burkhart Farms and you're certified organic and some of the vendors here aren't certified organic and I was just curious what you had to go through and what that means to really get that certification. Um, to get the certification you've got to go through lots of paperwork, a lot of paperwork and paying a lot of funds that basically go to process that paperwork is what it is. A lot of the vendors here don't want to be able to go down that route because they know it's expensive, it's hard more consuming for their time when they could be actually on the farm doing their job um, but to actually show that we grow organically you've got to have that certificate yeah. and so for us we are super stoked to be able to actually show the certificate some people are like you know can you show yeah and they're like no no it's okay I'm just kidding I'm like no 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 you yeah, pay yeah. thousands of dollars for this and do they really why do we not want to show you sure? they come in uh, sometimes once a month sometimes every week it just depends and wow. they'll come through and they'll check our certificates and make sure we have on our table what's on the certificate mm -hmm. and also what we have is certified organic too yeah yeah thank you so yeah, I feel like it is really rigorous people come in and check up on these farms to make sure that they are upholding what they find to yeah. like have that certificate. Yep. So when something when some place is really certified organic, you can really, really trust that you are, are doing, doing, doing what you can yeah. to And then the this this farm itself is actually one of the oldest organic farms around. They started in nineteen sixty five wow. and they started certifying the actual paperwork in seventy nine. So they have literally been on the forefront of the organic cool. industry. So excited to support. Thank yeah, you. You're very welcome. Head Thank on you. over at Burkhart Farms. Let's try some samples. What? Hello. Oliver? Yum. Oliver? Looks so good. What? The white peaches. What's that? White peaches? Five boxes? There's two sets of them. Doesn't matter either. Doesn't matter. Is this is white peaches? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What is that? That? Focus. I don't know what this is, but it's absolutely beautiful. Mmm. 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 That's amazing. What was that? Which one? This one. This one, the blue eyes. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Oh my god, I'm gonna get some of those. So good. Alright, let's try some tomatoes. <laughs> this is way sweeter. So heirloom tomatoes, like nothing like it. I'm gonna try this right now in front of you. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. That's like so good. Farmer's Market tomato, not the same as the tomato you get at the grocery store or Walmart or even like Whole Foods. But that tomato all over my face probably. Like that is so sweet and juicy. I feel like I could sit and eat a fat bowl of just tomatoes. Like that does not taste like the tomato you get at a grocery store. Like that is just so soft and juicy and amazing. And if you think that you don't like tomatoes, you probably do. You just have not had a good ripe fresh one that's like full of nutrients and sunshine and fresh in the farm like that is a different animal i am freaking high on life right now that was so good all right i uh hope you had fun watching this video taking a little tour eating some samples with me at farmer's market oh my god i've had so many samples like even more than you saw <laughs> and it's been really really fun i'm gonna go do some shopping Pop some cherries in your mouth, pop some mulberries in your mouth, pop some oranges and did I, I didn't even show you all the veggies, all the zucchinis and asparagus and greens here as well. Oh my gosh, if there's anything you learned from this video, this is your sign. Eat foods that are alive and vibrant, feel excited and like really taste how delicious foods, <laughs> foods can be. <laughs> What's up man? foods can be in their natural state when they're grown organically and fresh from the farmer's market like they just taste so much better so 
so much better and it's so much better for you and the planet and everything else reap the benefits get them all in your body feel amazing and I rollerbladed here and um, I'm not the best at rollerblading I just love trying something new and falling on my butt I hope you do too have a beautiful incredible day you are amazing bye